hey everyone welcome back to another new exciting video guys i have found another new ocr model and its name is olm ocr2 and it is from the allen ai and the important thing is that it is completely beating this deep seek ocr and also it is giving the some kind of best performance than the pedal ocr and here you see that i have tried in their official platform olm ocr and i have given this link in description also here you see that i have found this kind of output from this image you see that on the left hand side i have uploaded this image and here some kind of equations are written and it has exactly extracted these equations means this power and the signs and all of that things here you see that uh, division all of that things it has uh, completely copied and extracted and when i gave the same document to this deep seek ocr here you see that in this case it has not properly placed the powers and these divisions all of that things see here in case of fraction or this division it has written like f r a c the fraction but in case of uh, olm ocr here you see that it has properly given this division or this fraction sign so if you upload the same documents uh, for the paddle OCR also, here you see that paddle OCR also given this kind of uh, fraction signs and also this power things in a better clean way. Okay. So from this comparison, I can say that this OLM OCR is best than the deep seek OCR. And also here you see that they have used uh, some kind of technologies due to that it is scoring this 82.3% on old mass scan, 84.9% on tables, 83.7% on multi column. Okay. And here you see that it achieves 82.4 points on yearly plus 4 point improvements over their previous release. Because this is the version 2. Here you see that uh, OLM OCR 2, 7 billion model it is. Now this is the official website and here also here you see that uh, they have written OLM OCR2 has been trained on highly curated set academic papers, technical documentation and other reference content. The latest version uses synthetic data and unit tests as verifiable rewards for reinforcement learning to further decrease hallucinations. For full details, you can visit this page. So here you see they have written these things. We apply group relative policy optimization grpo a reinforcement learning algorithm using pass fail rewards from this unit test for each document the model generates 28 completions during training and completions that pass more unit tests receive higher rewards teaching the model to produce faithful structure output rather than approximate guesses and this is the important things and here you see that this is the re uh, rewards combined like primary and auxiliary primary means this pass fail signals from the unit tests and means table structure equations accuracy re reading order and next one is this uh, auxiliary auxiliary means the clean termination proper end of this file and uh, consistent metadata extraction so these two things uh, are actually the pillar of this olm ocr for this successful generation or this extraction of the text from the image now let's test this uh, model with another uh, or another documentation so this is the website link that i have given in description go there you will find this interface the website name is this olmocr.lnai.org and here let's uh, refresh this and this is the interface and here you see that uh, you can upload the file here let's upload the file and here you see that you can upload this pdf jpg or png okay so let's upload another file and you will get this process document button click on that and it is processing that here you see here you see that uh, in this image there is a table okay let's see that how successfully it is extracting that let's okay here you see that it has successfully extracted these things means uh, all of these uh, plus minus things and this uh, power things also here you see that successfully it has uh, extracted that things right
and also here you see that uh, there is a power related things okay 99.1 degree plus minus 1.6 degree let's see that how successfully it has done this where is that here 91.1 degree plus minus 1.6 degree so it has successfully done that right but if you upload the same things with the deep seek then you will see that there is some discrepancies means deep seek uh, ocr cannot be able to uh, show this kind of um, power or these equations and this plus minus that things in a correct uh, way they are showing this kind of fraction uh, in case of circle it uh, writes that circ okay so from that point of view i am not happy with this deep seek ocr but i am surely happy with this parallel ocr previously when i made the video and next the model uh, this olm ocr2 so i will keep this olm ocr2 uh, in a very fast position and then this parallel ocr and then deep seek ocr okay and here you see that um, for OLM OCR2, we developed a synthetic document pipeline that generates training data with these verifiable properties built in. Sample real world PDF pages with challenging content. Use Claude Sonnet 4 to analyze layout and re render pages clean semantic HTML. So, this is the main thing. They are using this Claude Sonnet 4 to extract the layout and this uh, render pages for the semantic HTML. The refine the HTML iteratively for visual fidelity to the original, derive extract markdown targets and automatically generate programmatic test cases from the HTML source. And one thing you have to remember that uh, uh, when you are using any model, then uh, you should not waste your time for refining or for fine tuning that output. Okay. So if you use this OLM OCR2 7 billion model, then in that case, you don't have to waste your time for fine tuning the extracted output. But if you use the DeepSeq OCR, then you have to fine tune, right? You cannot directly use this, uh, this text. You have to fine tune. Otherwise, how can you share this document with others? Because this power is not visible correctly. This fraction is not visible correctly, okay? So I think that this video is helpful for you guys and all the links are given in description and uh, if you are visiting this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel and here you see that yesterday I published this Coen3 VL model also and this new vibe coding from this Gemini AI studio and this Gemini 3.0 Pro versus Claude Haiku 4.5 and this Gemini 3.0 Pro these testings are available so please watch that videos also and there are many videos i have already published so please go and watch that videos see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care and please like and subscribe this channel